From Broadway to Hollywood, her glittering smile and sparkling personality have captured audiences. Cece Michaela is best known for her unforgettable role on the hit TV show Girlfriends. She played Yvonne, the zany, unpredictable police officer. Yet at the height of her success, she walked away from a glamorous life to find something more. I was such an actress and singer and dancer. Broadway was everything to me. Cece's love for the stage started early. Her single mother scraped money together for singing and dance lessons. Although Cece grew up singing in church, she didn't fully understand how to have a real relationship with God until she got older. But she remembers the day she cried out to him in panic. I was on my way to, to school and the car just went completely out of control. Everything was just jammed and it was just going straight for the telephone pole. And I just said, Jesus! The car was just, it was like a crashed Coke can. And I crawled out of what was left of a window and not even a run in my pantyhose. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Cece believed the Lord had spared her life, but she wasn't ready to make God her top priority. Instead, she focused on her career and headed to New York. She got her first big break in the popular Broadway musical, Jelly's Last Jam. What was it like being on Broadway with stars like Gregory Hines? Overwhelming. It was surreal. I remember standing there and it's just echoing for days when you like, Yee! you know, and it was like, oh my goodness, I could just, you know, do all of my runs. And it just, it was amazing to see all the seats and to just think people are going to be sitting here like Madonna and Halle Berry and Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. They all came, you know, to see the show and they'd come backstage afterwards and they were like, you were awesome. I'm like, me? I'm awesome. You're awesome. Do you know who you are? They're like, yeah. <laughs> Soon after, Cece moved to Hollywood. She landed guest spots on some of television's top shows, including The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Chicago Hope. But inside, there was an empty feeling she just couldn't shake. In trying to grow up and looking for love in all the wrong places because I didn't have a father, so I didn't have that man's touch as a, a young girl growing up, I had no idea that that would cause me to really yearn and, and be, I want to be wanted so to speak. Um, even though I had it all together, I was making money. There was still a side of me that thought that having, it was so important to have a boyfriend. And it felt good, you know, the, 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 the comfort, having a friend, someone there to talk to. But I had no idea that God comes first. In the pews of a small church in Hollywood, Cece discovered the love she had searched for so long. As she read the Bible, she began to understand the truth about God. At a storefront church by the name of the Burning Bush Church, Pastor Les Robinson, um, he just, he broke down the word and it was so easy to apply it. Every Sunday I would, wanna, I would run home and want to apply it quickly. I didn't want to wait. And so as I began to learn the word of God, honestly and truly, I just said, wow, I've got to clean up my act. The way that I speak, the way that I talk, the way that I walk. Cece surrendered every part of her life to Jesus, even her dating relationships. She'd finally had enough of the heartache brought on by premarital sex. What prompted you to become pure, to live a life of abstinence? It was the heartbreak. It was the emotions. It was, you know, giving him my very body and everything that I thought that he desired and that he wanted. And he still didn't marry me. And I'm going, you know, what, um, what am I doing wrong? Is my, te my technique wrong? And I'm thinking, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Maybe, let me get it right. Or maybe it's the outfit. Maybe I'll change my makeup. Maybe I'll change my hair, you know? And no matter what I did, they still didn't marry me. And I finally said, something's wrong. Something's wrong. And I went, you know, to God in prayer. And I began to read the word. And that's when I found Proverbs 18.22. And I just found out, you know what, Satan? Because of the lack of knowledge, many things perish. And so my virginity perished, you know. My emotions perished. And I just felt empty. And I say, God, you know, you got to come and fill me up. And he did. He came and he filled me with his word and he let me know that I can be restored. And I can be renewed. And that I am still beautiful. And that I'm not ugly. And I'm not used. And I'm not abused. You may feel like that, but I'm going to clean you up, baby. Like white, like, you know, white as snow. As Cece grew in her faith, her career took a turn. At the time, she had a recurring role on the TV sitcom, Girlfriends. I hear it so clearly from God, and one morning I woke up and he said, the Holy Spirit said, this is your last day. And I'm like, oh, the show's closing. He said, no, the show's not closing, but this will be your last day. 
I need you to come work for me. And I'm like, oh, no. What, what is my agent going to say? What do you mean? And uh, he said, watch, I'm even going to make it easy for you. You'll see. When she read over her script that day, it all became clear. And I got the script, and literally by the time I got to page three or four, my character at that time, which was Yvonne, it was written so differently, so not Yvonne, not her usual shtick. Yvonne's usually very strong, funny. She seemed weaker to me. She was doing things she wouldn't normally do, and there were some sexual actions and things and words that they had written. Cece asked the producers to change the script. And they came back, they said that you're going to have to do it, you know, the way we wrote it, and we really wanted it to be presented like this. I said, I totally understand that you have a job to do here, and that this is the show, this is Girlfriends, and it has to be done the way that I understand, you know, and so I want you to understand the God that I serve and who my Father is. His name is Jesus Christ, and at this time, that um, because it can't be changed and it's going against what I believe uh, as a Christian, then I'm going to have to um, walk away from the show. Basically, I walked right off of that set. It took me about 15 minutes to pack everything up, um, and the gates of Paramount's closed, and um, I have never been back since. Maybe one day. <laughs> But I'm happy. I am happy about the move that I made. I walked right off of the set and uh, really straight into my ministry, God's Girl Network. God was saying that he was pleased. Now Cece shares the joy she has found in Christ with hundreds of young girls. She encourages them to live a life of purity just as she has for the last eight years. Her story reminds them that in Christ, there's freedom from past mistakes and hope for a fresh start. Thank God for the word, you know, and the truth. And that truth set me free.